In this video, I'm going to show you how to add narration into your project. So at this point, you should have everything moving to create the interaction between the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. So the Earth should be rotating while it is revolving around the Sun, and the Moon should be revolving around the Earth. If you are done with everything, then you are ready for a narration. For narration, I think it is easiest to use our Sun as our location to add our narration because our sun is staying still and we don't want to make anybody dizzy by making our earth or our moon talk. So if I go up to where it says looks, I can grab out a say block for my sun. And for my sun, my sun is going to narrate or tell whoever's watching my project what interaction is happening between the earth, the moon, and the sun. So my sun might say something like, look at the earth traveling around me and then if I click on that the Sun will talk and say look at the earth traveling around me for two seconds then I could add another block that says when the earth travels all the way around me that is called a revolution and then if I click on these again it's gonna say look at the earth traveling around me when the earth travels all the way around me, that is called a revolution. And a revolution, <coughs> this sentence takes a little bit longer to say, so to read, so I might make it show for four seconds. That way we have enough time to totally read everything on that word block. And then I'm going to add another say block that says something like, a revolution takes a year or 365 days. Then I'm going to go through and I'm going to add some more information about my rotation. The, the earth is spinning around and when the earth spins, that is called a rotation. All the things that we've been working on and we've been talking about, you're going to explain all of those things in your narration. That way if somebody that doesn't know how the moon, the earth, and the sun interact, they can watch your project and they can learn all about how the sun, the moon, and the earth interact. So you're just going to keep adding on to talk about the earth and to also talk about the moon. You also have the option of adding another sprite into your project if you'd like. So instead of having the moon or the instead of having the sun talk about what's going on, you can go down here to the sprite library and you can find a sprite. So maybe I'll go under space and maybe I want like a space robot that's going to appear and tell me what is going on. The tricky part about the space robot is you have to make him appear after the whole interaction has happened. So you've got to make him hide at the beginning. So when green flag is clicked, I want to go under looks and have him hide. And then I've got to decide when I want him to show. Because I don't want him, I want to be able to watch my whole project through and then I want him to come out and tell me what's going on. So maybe I have him wait for like 10 seconds. So hide, wait maybe 10 seconds, then show, and then your space robot, when it shows, can appear. And we can make your space robot like appear on the sun, maybe get a little smaller. And then if you don't want your sun to talk, your space robot can talk can shrink him and he can say the same kinds of things like look at the earth the earth is revolving around the sun it takes one year to make a revolution around the sun so your robot can talk about those different things too so you either have the option of having your son share out what's happening or you can pick another sprite from the sprite library and have them share out but when you are sharing out you should include what interaction is happening so describe what's happening. The earth is moving all the way around the sun. That would be a description. Then you should include the name of that description. So that when the earth travels around the sun, we know that that's called a revolution. So make sure you include that. Then I also want you to include how long it takes. So that for that example, it would take 365 days or a year. So when you are narrating or describing what's happening, give me the name of what's happening, a description, and how long it takes. So I hope this video helps you with creating narration in your Scratch project.